Hey, this is Lara from Pearl Soho, and I'm going to show you how to join the sleeves to the body of a bottom-up sweater that's knit in the round. Um, joining the sleeves in the body, it all happens in a single round or a row if you're making a cardigan. Um, I'm going to demonstrate it here on this small uh, kid size Pearl Soho pullover. Now, depending on the pattern you're working, the steps may vary slightly, but what I'm about to show you, sh the concept should be um, very easily applied to whatever your sweater situation. So, as you can see, I have the body of my sweater finished, um, worked up to the underarms. Um, I've knit one sleeve over here and placed it on hold, and I did that in order to knit the second sleeve, which you can see is still on um, the needles. So, um, one last thing to note before we jump into it is that the underarm stitches for each of these pieces are all on hold. Your pattern may have had you bind off or maybe put them on scrapyard. I'm going to be using the needles that are holding my body and the working yarn coming off of the body to knit around the sleeve stitches. But the first thing I need to do is orient the sleeve and the body so that the underarm stitches are just kind of parallel and just kissing each other, just like this. And you'll notice that when you do that, when you orient your two pieces of fabric in this way, you're in the perfect position to begin knitting. You have your um, body working needle in your right hand and the sleeve stitch needle right here in your left hand. So for my pattern, um, actually the, very, the next thing I need to do is place a unique stitch marker because I, um, in my pattern, am at the end of my round. But if your pattern doesn't indicate that, don't, don't worry, just do as it says. Um, but now I'm really ready to begin knitting around these sleeve stitches in order to join these two pieces of fabric together. So here I go with the right needle. I'm just going to knit into this first stitch. For this first stitch, you might want to give it an extra little tug to kind of secure this join. But here we are. We've joined. We've officially joined the sleeve to the body. And now I'm going to just continue around these sleeve stitches until I reach the, um, the end of the sleeve stitches. And uh, I'll be at the other side of the underarm. So as you can see, I've joined the first sleeve to the body. We started right here where I placed the stitch marker and knit around. Now I'm going to flip it over to show you where, I, where I've left off. So I reached my, um, the end of my sleeve stitches. And as you can see, my underarm stitches are still parallel and just kissing each other right here. Um, my working yarn is, is coming off of this sleeves, this last sleeve stitch now, and I'm ready to carry on and go back to the body stitches working across what for me is the back body. Um, the first thing I need to do in my pattern is place a stitch marker, but again, do as your pattern indicates. So this is again the a first stitch of you know, moving from one fabric to the other fabric. So I'm going to recommend giving that first stitch just like an extra little tug. And now I'm going to continue across these back body stitches until I reach the next set of underarm stitches. And at that point, I'll be ready to join my second sleeve. Okay, we are in the home stretch. Um, I've finished working across the second set of sleeve stitches and I'm now ready to go back to the body. This time it's the, for my pattern, the front body. Um, and this will, working across these stitches will take us, take me back to right where we began. Um, so once again, I need to place a stitch marker. I'm gonna just drop that on my needle here. And now, you know, you can see my underarm stitches are parallel. I'm in the perfect place to join here. So I'm going to take this first st stitch, tug it a tiny bit, and now cruise across these front stitches. Um, my pattern has me finish this two stitches before the stitch marker, um, but do, of course, as your pattern indicates. All right, guys, we've done it. We have joined these two sleeves to the body by working just one single round. Um, 
these sleeves might seem a tiny bit precarious uh, right, right now, but as you shape your yoke, they're going to become more and more solidified. And um, these, you know, three, what were just three tubes will become kind of one tube up here at the yoke. And um, you'll, you're nearly done with your sweater. It's great. And that's it. That's how you join the sleeves to the body of a sweater that's knitting around from the bottom up.